welcome again in my course power electronics application in power system so in last few lecture i i was discussing about different types of static var compensator right and in the last couple of lectures i basically discuss on uh, a specific type of static var compensator which is named as thyristor switch capacitor or tsc in short right and when I uh, uh, discuss uh, different types or different categories of uh, static power uh, compensator, I said that uh, there are two different types of uh, compensator or static power compensator, one which can absorb the reactive power, another which is delivering the reactive power, which can deliver the reactive power. And uh, in general, we merge these together to form a unified kind of static bar compensator which can capable of uh, supplying reactive power as well as uh, absorbing reactive power, right. So, in general, uh, this TSC or thyristor switched capacitor uh, is also used another type of this uh, uh, static bar compensator which I already discussed that is uh, thyristor control reactor and they constitute a single device and that device can capable of providing as well as absorbing the reactive power. So, the objective or goal of today's discussion is to understand the combined operation of thyristor switched capacitor, thyristor control reactor as a uh, static var compensator unit. Okay. So, let us proceed that. So, in today's discussion, we will discuss thyristor switched capacitor in short TSC along with thyristor. control reactor. In short, it is TCR. Usually, this unit is named as TSC TCR. Okay. TSC TCR. Now, now what I will uh, discuss today is the basic operating principle of TSC TCR. Since uh, the operating principle of uh, this TSC and TCR are already discussed uh, separately. So, it is uh, uh, it will be easier to the uh, uh, all of you to understand this the operation or basic operating principle of TSC TCR when they will be combined and act as a single static bar compensator unit. Right? So, what we will do is we will uh, draw the single line diagram. Remember, this is a also a three page device, but we will we will consider it uh, it is to be balanced and we will consider the system to be balanced and we will uh, we will uh, draw here is a uh, single line representation of TSC TCR. Suppose, this is the bus at which we will place this TSC TCR unit. Okay. So, then what we will have? We will have a step down transformer as usual to step down the voltage level to a reduced voltage level. Uh, this is we followed in all the uh, different types of the static bar compensator. Then we will have multiple TSC unit as well as multiple TCR unit. Okay. So, here I will consider that let us assume that we will be having three numbers of TSC units like this. So, in TSC unit uh, as we know the single line representation is we have a small uh, reactor and we have a capacitor. right? So, let us consider we have a three identical TSC units connected in parallel. 
like this. This is a small reactor and this is the capacitor unit. Okay. So, there is another such unit like this. This is the mall reactor and this is the capacitor and these three units are identical as you know. Then what we will have is the LC filter. This is required specifically for uh, TCR operation that I already discussed and then we will be having TCR unit. This is the bidirectional switch. We consider it is a thyristor and we will be having the reactor. Okay. So, here if you look at these are TSC units, TSC units, this is LC filter, LC filter to suppress some of the harmonics, dominant harmonics which will be generated by this TCR unit, this is TCR unit. Okay. This is the reactor of this TCR unit, these are the LC filter LF and CF. Okay. These are the capacitors which are represented by let us say C1, C2 and C3 assuming that all these uh, are identical. Okay. C1, C2, C3 are identical. Okay. So, this is what the uh, single line diagram of a TSC TCR unit. So, this is single line diagram. of TSC TCR unit. Okay. And as you know this is step down transformer, this is step down transformer and this we keep so that the voltage level as of the TSC TCR will be much lower than the system voltage level. Now, system voltage level can be of transmission line voltage level. In India, it is uh, you know uh, 220 kV, uh, 400 kV, and 765 kV. Okay, and these are pretty high voltage level. So, uh, in this voltage level, if we uh, need to design this kind of static bar compensator, then uh, the compensator cost would be very high. Okay, so what we can do is that since it is a sound connected device, we can step down the voltage level to much lower voltage level and we can design the uh, static bar compensator. Now, usually a TSC TCR, a TSC TCR consists of multiple TSC units, all are identical all are identical and and single or multiple TCR unit. Usually this number of TCR unit is kept less so that the, uh, the total uh, harmonic generation by this TCR operation is also less. Okay. In fact, normally the common practice is that uh, even if uh, in uh, this case of TCR, we keep some of the thyristor switch reactor that is TSR and some uh, TCR, only one or two as TCR so that the total harmonic generation by the TCR would be less. Okay. Now, the thumb rule is the thumb rule is to select in identical TSC units and and 
one TCR unit. As I said, the number of TCR unit is kept less, so that the total uh, harmonics generation would be also less. Okay, because one of the major bottleneck of the operation of TCR, you know, that the harmonic generation, right? So the next is the TCR rating. is chosen such that its rating is one nth of the total rating total rating of TSC. Okay, this is a thumb rule, not necessarily that you have to follow this rule, but this is a thumb rule in designing TSC TCR. Okay. So, basically as I said that uh, the number of TCR unit is kept less, so that it is used to be a single or maximum two, so that the total harmonic generation of the whole unit is less. Okay. Now, here what we will do is that we will design a TSC TCR so that we can understand its basic operating uh, characteristics uh, that is uh, voltage current characteristics in very well. Okay. So, what we will do? We will consider a design problem. So, let us design a TSC TCR unit. which can provide provide one per unit of capacitive compensation capacitive compensation and 0.3 per unit of inductive compensation. Okay. And uh, assume that the susceptance of the step down transformer is six per unit, six per unit. We usually consider the susceptance of the step down transformer as B sigma. So, since it is six per unit, it means that B sigma is equal to minus 6 per unit. Remember, the susceptance of the step down transformer is an inductive kind of susceptance, because we, we assume that a transformer is modeled with its leakage reactance, because this unit will be considered to be a lossless. So, so, so our assumption is that, our assumption is that the whole unit is lossless. lossless. If it is so, then this uh, susceptance of the step down transformer is basically the recipro reciprocal of the leakage reactance of a transformer and it is considered to be 6 per unit. Since you know the leakage reactance is a kind of inductive reactance, so the susceptance of a inductive kind of reactance is negative uh, as already I discussed. So, therefore, this V sigma is minus 6 per unit and we will consider the system voltage, system voltage is 1 per unit. It means that the whole design would be done considering the system voltage or bus voltage as 1 per unit. Now, when you consider so, uh, what does it mean actually? You, if you consider the system voltage 1 per unit, then one per unit of capacitive compensation which is mentioned over here 
stands for one per unit of the capacitive compensation stands for one per unit of the total susceptance of the whole TSC TCR unit when it is operating at the maximum production limit. This is something uh, one needs to understand. So, I will write it. So, it, it implies that one per unit of capacitive compensation means capacitive compensation implies to to one per unit of sus total susceptance total susceptance of TSC TCR unit when it is operating at operating at maximum production limit maximum production limit this is something is very important to understand similarly this 0.3 per unit of inductive compensation stands for susceptance of the whole unit is equal to 0.3 or is equal to minus uh, 0.3 when the uh, whole unit is operating at maximum absorption limit so similarly similarly the susceptance if we consider the susceptance of the whole unit is considered to be ta b tsc tcr is equal to minus 0.3 when it is operating at operating at maximum absorption limit okay this is something one needs to understand and also one needs to understand that when this tsc tcr will operate at its maximum production limit then tcr should be turned off and all these tsc units will be turned on okay if i write so here maximum production limit production limit corresponds to 3 TSC are turned on full because TSC is thyristor switched capacitor it can be either turned on or completely turned off there is no partial turned off operation uh, I, I explain the reason and this TCR TCR is fully off then only this whole unit can operate at maximum production limit. It means that all these three capacitors will be turned on and the inductive unit that is uh, TCR unit will be fully turned off. So, then uh, we can operate it as a maximum production limit. Similarly, maximum this uh, absorption limit absorption limit means that 3 TSC unit will be off and TCR will be fully on. This is something one needs to understand. Okay? This is something one needs to understand very clearly that um, when the whole unit will be operated at maximum absorption limit that means that we need to turn off all the TSC unit and the TCR unit would be fully turned on then only it can uh, be able to absorb the rated amount of VAR from the system and that is corresponds to this B TSC TCR is equal to 0.3. Okay. Whenever this uh, one per unit of capacitive compensation to uh, it implies to that at this uh, particular operating condition when it is operated at maximum production limit B TSC TCR is equal to 1 per unit. 
ok ok now based upon that we need to design the reactance value of the reactor of the tcr unit and also the capacitances of the capacitor unit remember although i wrote this c1 c2 c3 but they are identical so c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c3 that is something one needs to understand ok now what we will do is we need to find out corresponding to these uh, two conditions we need to find out what would be the maximum uh, rating or maximum susceptance of the tcr and what would be the maximum susceptance of each of the uh, tsc unit so in order to find that so if i write again that what we get it that b tsc tcr when it is operating it at maximum production limit is equal to 1. Now, what does it mean uh, this TSC TCR will be operated at maximum production limit then uh, it will be uh, a combination of these three susceptance of the TSC unit and it will be in series there will be this uh, susceptance of the step down transformer. So, this single line diagram would be something like that in, under this condition it will be something like that we have a B sigma and we have 3, 3 B C in parallel ok. So, this is equal to B sigma which is given as minus 6 per unit these are 3 B C which are in parallel this will be the the susceptance diagram susceptance diagram diagram for operation at operation at maximum production limit ok. Now, uh, if these three uh, susceptance are in uh, parallel then what is the total susceptance uh, as a whole it will be uh, equal to 3 multiplied by B c and it will should be in series with this B sigma. So, then this one uh, will be equated with B sigma multiplied by 3 B c divided by B sigma plus 3 B c 3 B c. Now, if you put these values because we know this B sigma is equal to minus 6. So, this will be minus 6 multiplied by 3 B c divided by minus 6 plus 3 B c this is equal to 1. So, this gives the value of this B c is equal to how much this is equal to 0 0.286 per unit this is what the susceptance rating of a particular TSC unit. So, this is so, this is this is the rating of each TSC unit ok all right. Now, next what we will do we will uh, consider this the other extreme operating condition. So, this was uh, maximum production limit and that will be the maximum absorption limit. So, B T S C T C R when it is operated at maximum absorption limit it is given as minus 0 0.3 according to the problem statement that we that you can find over here. So, B T C R T S is minus 0 0.3 
when it is operating at maximum production limit. This is according to this problem statement. Okay. So, what we can write is uh, this is equal to now when this uh, will be operated at maximum absorption limit. So, then all this TSC would be turned off as I mentioned over here at maximum absorption limit all this TSC will be turned off and TCR will be fully turned on. Okay. So, then this single line diagram of the susceptance will be something like that will be having B sigma which represents the susceptance of the step down transformer and will be having the susceptance of the this TCR unit which is considered to be B L. So, here B L represent the susceptance of TCR unit when it is fully turned on. This is something you need to understand because basically this is representing a variable susceptance, but we consider the extreme operating condition that is maximum absorption limit. So, at that condition the susceptance of the TCR would be the maximum susceptance that it can provide and that is the operating condition corresponding to the TCR unit is fully turned on. So, if it is so then it will be equal to B sigma multiplied by this B L because they are in series divided by B sigma plus B L which is as already we know that B sigma is given as minus point uh, minus 6 per unit minus 6 B L divided by this B sigma is minus 6 plus B L which is equal to minus 0 0.3. So, from this one can find out what is the value of B L and as per my calculation it is it should be equal to minus 0 0.316 per unit. Okay. So, we got this uh, susceptance of the TCR unit, uh, we got the susceptance of each of the capacitor unit. Okay. So, this is how we uh, determine the ratings of the each TSC unit susceptance rating to be more precise and also the maximum uh, susceptance rating or the rated value of the susceptance of the TCR unit. Okay. Now, we will uh, uh, find the operating conditions, different operating conditions. Okay. So, there are uh, you know uh, different types of operating conditions for this kind of TSC TCR unit as a whole. I will discuss this uh, one by one. Okay. So, what are these operating conditions? So, the operating condition, operating conditions of TSC TCR unit. Okay. So, if I just divide it among different category or different types, then let us consider case 1 corresponds to when 3 TSCs are turn on, turn on and TCR also turned on, but TCR can be partially turned on. Okay. The second operating condition is when two TSCs are turned on along with this TCR okay, plus TCR operation. Okay. This is case 2. Okay. Case 3 corresponds to one only one TSC unit is turned on and plus TCR operation okay. and case 4 will be the case when only TCR is turned on. Okay. So, these are the four different cases. So, in this case three all the TSCs are turned on plus TCR will be in operation case 2 
uh, only two TSC unit out of three will be turned on. That means one TSC unit will be turned off, and the TCR will be in the operational. Case three will be only one TSC unit will be turned on along with this TCR unit. And case four, when no TSC unit will be turned on, that means all the TSC units are turned off. Only TCR unit is operational. Okay. So, during each of the cases, we will also get some sub ranges, some uh, sub uh, range of this production and absorption. Okay. Now, let us discuss this one by one. So, this is for case 1, this is for case 2 and this is suppose for case 3. Now, when this let us start with this first case when all these three TSCs are turned on along with this uh, the TCR unit. So, during that time the maximum production maximum production of the bar corresponds to maximum production of the bar corresponds to uh, this uh, three TSCs are turned already on uh, when this TCR is off. Okay. So, during that uh, moment of time, so this I SVC since it will be in the capacitive region. So, this would be equal to minus. So, what would be uh, when this TCR is fully turned off, then the net uh, susceptance of the whole TSC TCR unit or whole SVC will correspond to uh, this uh, 3 times of the individual susceptance of each of the TSC unit along with uh, or in series the susceptance of the uh, step down transformer. So, this will be equal to uh, this since we consider this uh, uh, voltage as a minus uh, 1 per unit. So, 1 multiplied by the susceptance of the BSBC let us say. So, BSBC we can calculate as 1 multiplied by uh, this would be equal to 3 B C plus B sigma divided by oh sorry this 3 B C multiplied by B sigma divided by 3 B C plus B sigma because when uh, this at maximum production TCR is off. So, TCR susceptance will not appear in, in calculating the overall susceptance of the whole unit. So, this will be the thing. So, then this will be coming out to be if you do it this will be coming out to be 1 per unit. Okay. So, this is the maximum capacity or I should say that maximum this production limit max production limit. Then, then maxim then there will be another case uh, when when all the TSC unit will be turned on and TCR is fully also turned on. So, that means, so minimum production for this case will be equal to when this TCR is fully on. So, during that uh, time this SVC, ISVC minimum would be equal to minus 1 multiplied by now you know that we all we have this uh, uh, TCR unit fully turned on. So, along with this 3 B C there will be the susceptance of the TCR that also we need to be considered. So, so this will be then 3 B C plus B L multiplied by B sigma divided by 3 B C plus B L plus B sigma. Okay. So, if you do this, if you put all the values of B C, B L and B sigma which are already determined in the last this uh, page B L, B C and this B sigma, B sigma is already given. So, if you put all these values then it will be coming out to be minus 0.59 5 per unit. Okay. Now, remember uh, since uh, this TCR we, we know that its operation is uh, similar to a variable susceptance. So, it can be operated at partial 
conduction mode as well. So, these two values of this ISBC and I, uh, ISBC max and ISBC mean and for this particular case corresponds to two extreme possible case uh, operation of this TCR one is fully off another is fully on. So, that means when TCR is partially on it can produce VAR starting from this range minus 1 to minus 0 0.595 per unit. Any value of this VAR within this range is possible by using TCR control in case A. Okay? So, that is something one needs to understand. Then similarly, we will uh, uh, derive this case as well that is case 2. So, in case 2, so is I S B C max corresponds to T C R, this corresponds to T C R fully off. So, this is equal to minus this 2 B C plus multiplied by B sigma divided by 2 B C plus B sigma. Okay. So, we consider minus uh, this uh, symbol as already we discussed in order to uh, uh, bring this uh, capacitive current positive and inductive current negative. Remember, the capacitive susceptance is positive, uh, but capacitive current will plot in negative region of the axis. So, in order to do so, we consider this negative sign. So, if you solve this, then it will be coming out to be minus 0 0.632 per unit. Similarly, I S B C mean corresponds to T C R fully on. So, this is equal to minus 2 B C plus B, C B L multiplied by B sigma divided by 2 B C plus B L plus B sigma. Okay. If you put all these values, it will be as per my calculation, it is coming out to be minus 0 0.27 per unit. So, therefore, you, one can conclude that we consider these two extreme ranges, one is TCR is fully off, another is TCR is fully on. So, by partially conducting this TCR, it is possible to have a range of this compensation any value in between 0 0.632 to 0 0.27 per unit in this particular case. Okay. So, that means, for in this particular case, when uh, we keep two TSCs are turned on and a TCR which can be uh, fully turned on and fully turned off or partially turned on, we can vary the VAR production from minus 632 per unit to minus 27 per unit. When it is as long as uh, this VAR or this uh, I is coming out to be negative, that means that it is basically producing VAR. Okay. Now, we will go for this third case, that is this case. So, here this I S V C max corresponds to T C R fully off. So, uh, for this case, this, uh, this susceptance will be B C multiplied by B sigma divided by B C plus B sigma. Now, remember here only one T S C is turned on. So, overall uh, susceptance of this T S C is B C only. Okay. So, if you do the calculation, then it will be coming out to be minus 0.3 per unit. Okay. Similarly, I S B C mean corresponds to when TCR is fully turned on. So, in this case, this B C should not appear. So, uh, along with this B C, uh, this B L should appear. So, this will be equal to B C plus B L multiplied by B sigma, negative sign is already there, then B C plus B L plus B sigma if you put the values of B C, B L and B sigma, this will be coming out to be 0 0.029 positive per unit. Now, when uh, this I S B C current uh, drawn by this S B C is coming out to positive, 
then according to our convention it is a kind of inductive uh, operation. So, it is basically absorbing what? So, therefore, for this particular case that is in case 3 when only one THC will be operational or it will be turned on and TS, TCR will be turned on. So, it can provide uh, this this range of this part 0 0.3 per unit to plus 0 0.029 per unit. So, under this particular case we can also produce part and absorb some amount of part as well. Okay. So, this is how this case 3 uh, can be uh, understood. Okay. Now, let us come to the last case when only TCR will be operational. So, in that case this ISVC max will be equal to when TCR is fully up that means, ideally it is having 0 this current alright. Although there would be some amount of bar absorption due to the susceptance of the step down transformer, but let us ignore it. So, then it will be 0 and ISVC mean corresponds to TCR fully on under this conditions this var would be equal to B sigma multiplied by B L divided by B sigma plus B L. Since B sigma B L both are negative this is already there is a negative term here and B sigma and B L both are negative. So, this total will be coming out to be a positive. So, this is coming out to be 0 0.3 per unit. Okay. So, for this particular case it is possible to vary this ISVC from 0 to 0 plus 0 0.3 per unit okay, by varying this TCR susceptance because you know this two cases for each uh, case uh, we consider two extreme conditions one is TCR is fully turned on another is TCR is fully turned off. But remember TCR can be also partially turned on. So, uh, by uh, operating so we can change the value of the susceptance of the TCR uh, to any value in between 0 to B L. So, by doing so we can provide some controllable VAR uh, either we can absorb some controllable VAR. So, this is a case of VAR absorption. this is a range of VAR production, VAR production to VAR absorption. This is a case of VAR production and this is a case of also VAR production. Okay. So, this is how we can uh, operate this TSC T TCR unit and this is how we can control this TSC TCR unit as well. Now, what we will do next is we will plot, plot of the voltage current characteristics. Okay, the plot of the voltage current characteristics. So, what we will do is we will plot this VSVC and ISVC characteristics. This is in this axis we will consider VSVC, in this axis we will consider ISVC. Now, ISVC can be uh, positive as well as can be negative. ISBC positive corresponds to the case that the VAR is uh, absorbed and ISBC negative corresponds to the case is the VAR is produced. And by doing so, what we can do? Let us come uh, to this case 1 first. So, let us come to the case 1 first. Okay. So, in case 1 we know the range is minus 1 to minus uh, 0 0.595. So, let us consider that this is corresponds to minus 1, this is corresponds to minus 0 
0.595. So, these are the ISBC uh, range. Now, what we can do is that uh, this is the maximum uh, production range and this is the minimum production range for this operation of this SBC. So, that means the operating characteristics of this would be from here to from here to here. Okay. So, this is the maximum uh, production limit and this is the minimum production limit uh, for this case 3. So, uh, sorry for this case 1. So, this is what the sub range of case 1. Okay. So, any value of this var, uh, you know production is possible in between this to this uh, for, by controlling this TCR unit. In fact, that here the controllable parameter is TCR unit only. By controlling the TCR parameter, we can vary this. Okay. Now, let us come to the next case where uh, this uh, is varying from minus 0 0.632 to minus 0.27. So, here suppose minus 0 0.632 and here suppose we have minus 0 0.27. So, that means in case 2, these are the two extreme ranges of the VAR. So, therefore, this maximum VAR production corresponds to this, minimum VAR production corresponds to that. So, this is the operating range or sub range in case 2. Okay. Now, let us come to the case 3. In case 3, you can see this is what the VAR production to VAR absorption limit. So, one is minus 0 0.3, another is 0 0.029. So, therefore, suppose G, this is corresponds to 0 0.3, this is corresponds to 0 0.029. That means, the operating characteristics of this uh, under this case 3 will be from here to here within this range. Okay. Then next would be the final uh, you know uh, this uh, case that is case 4 where this uh, VAR absorption from 0 to 0 0.3. So, that means, uh, this so this is of course 0, this is of course 0 0.3. So, these are the two ranges under this particular case. So, this is, so therefore, the variation of this VAR production in case 4 is within this range. Now, this is what the plot of this VI characteristics for this TSC TCR unit. So, this is the plot of the V i characteristics of TSC TCR unit. Okay. One thing uh, you can observe here is that there are some overlap uh, ranges. One is this in between this case 1 and case 2, another is uh, this that is in between case 2 and case 3, another is uh, this in between case 3 and case 4. Uh, so, these are the some overlapping area. By suitable design, it is possible to have discrete operating regions also, but it is not advisable to do so in voltage control of this SBC. Why it is so? We will discuss in uh, maybe in detail during this uh, discussion of SBC in voltage control. Okay. But this is what the VI characteristics or VSBC, ISBC characteristics of this uh, TSC TCR unit. So, with uh, this TCR control, uh, we can operate it either in case 1 and then or in case 2, which is this uh, case 2 or in case 3 or in case 4 and we have a uh, capability to provide here to here that much of this VAR. This is what is called control range. This is what the control range of this particular TSC TCR unit. It is possible to provide 
uh, any any value of this VAR, either uh, this VAR absorption or VAR production by controlling their TSC and TCR units. Okay, and as you can understand, this is what the maximum production limit. Production limit of the whole unit of TSC TCR, and this is the maximum absorption limit. This is what the maximum absorption limit of the whole uh, TSC TCR. Okay, so one thing I also uh, would uh, like to plot that is basically that is basically this uh, susceptance diagram. So, this is called susceptance diagram. Okay. So, under this susceptance diagram what we will do is uh, this y axis or this vertical axis we consider to be the susceptance of the S net susceptance of the SBC. And since the controllable unit is here only B T C R, so we will uh, plot this total overall susceptance versus this B T C R susceptance. Okay. So, for uh, this case 4 the plot would be something like this, uh, here suppose the susceptance is this is minus 0.3. So, the range of this, this plot would be from here to here. Okay. So, this is for case 4. Okay. Now, uh, for this case 3, the plot this plot would be from uh, some value of this uh, that is 0 0.029 to 0.3. Remember this SBC uh, susceptance is positive when it is a capacitive susceptance, right. So, it is vary from 0 0.029 to 0.3. Similarly, uh, this uh, for uh, case 2, the variation of the susceptance would be from some value uh, as you know that it is given uh, minus 0.27. So, this, this is equal to 0 0.27 suppose. So, it will be here to here. So, it, it, it will be 0 0.27 to uh, 0 0.632. Similarly, uh, this is for case 2. This was for case 3 and for case 1 it will be varying from minus 632 to 1. So, it will be varying from minus 632 to that means 0 0.632 to 1 the susceptance is that. So, this is what case 1. So, this is how uh, this the variation of this uh, susceptance would be. Okay. So, this is called susceptance diagram. So, we understood uh, this uh, voltage current characteristics. Also, we understood the susceptance diagram of the TSC TCR. Now, one should understand that this is the entire control range of this uh, TSC TCR. It can produce VAR from uh, 1 per unit and it can absorb VAR up to 0.3 per unit. So, it can also have a non-zero production and non-zero absorption because of this TCR operation. And with the variation of TCR, it is possible to have a smooth control of uh, this TCR susceptance in each of the cases and thereby we can uh, be able to produce the VAR and this uh, absorb the VAR within this control range to any value. Okay. So, this is something one needs to understand. So, within the control range, within the control range, the TSC TCR can produce VAR and absorb VAR 
with TCR control. Okay, so this is something one needs to understand here. Okay, so another last thing I should quickly discuss before I complete this lecture that is called losses in SVC. So, with this we can conclude this our discussion to this uh, static bar compensator. And now, what do you mean by losses? Losses uh, stands for the power or energy losses which take place due to the this SVC operation. And there are various uh, types of losses in SVC that I am going to discuss over here. Now, so what are the losses? So, various types of the losses, various losses that takes place in the SVC is due to number one losses in capacitor number 2 losses in filters because it is LC filter, number 3 losses in reactor, number 4 losses in uh, or rather switching losses, switching losses, switching losses at the thyristor units. So, so far our discussion uh, confined within uh, the case that we assume that whole unit is lossless, but it is true for some extent because uh, uh, some extent because uh, this this as compared to the rating the amount of losses is very less, but we cannot say that the losses would be 0 or we cannot completely ignore the loss, uh, ignore the losses because you know there, there is no uh, ideal type of capacitor which uh, uh, which will not have any type of energy losses in it that is not possible. So, as this uh, reactor or as well and there would be of course, switching loss uh, due to the thyristor operation and due to uh, this thyristor uh, material. So, those losses if you consider, so there should be certain amount of energy losses in the uh, SBC. Now, uh, here my goal is to discuss that the relative uh, amount of losses in different types of SBC unit. In particular, the three different types of SBC unit we learned in the uh, this last few lectures. One is fixed capacitor TCR, another is um, MSC TCR, another is TSC TCR. So, let us plot this. So, what we will do is we will plot this losses versus this ISVC. So, this is amount of power loss, P loss stands for power loss, this is ISVC. This is suppose for FC TCR. Similarly, there would be certain amount of losses in MSC TCR as well, which is mechanically switched capacitor TCR, and there would be certain amount of losses in TSC TCR as well. Okay. Now, how these losses can be compared? So, you should understand that out of these uh, different types of losses, some losses will be uh, fixed, some losses will be variable. So, losses stands for, losses stands for, for power or energy losses, okay, energy losses. So, P losses stands for this power losses and some losses are fixed and some are varying in nature, varying in nature. So, what we will do over here is that uh, we, we will uh, uh, find out this how this losses is varying. So, in general this uh, fixed losses in, in uh, fixed capacitor TCR usually higher. So, this is amount of fixed losses, this is amount of fixed losses and this is used to be higher. And uh, the reason is that already I discussed that uh, in fixed capacitor TCR 
capacitors are always turned on and therefore, there should be circulating current among this uh, capacitor and this TCR units and which will constitute certain amount of losses due to this loop current. Okay. So, this losses is usually varying like this from uh, starting from a fixed losses to this. Okay. So, as, as this SBC current is increased, losses is increased, as the SBC current is reduced, losses also get reduced. In case of MSC TCR, the loss characteristic, fixed losses, this is the amount of fixed losses, let us say. So, the usual characteristic is something like this. So, this is this fixed losses, then if we turned on different uh, uh, this is the fixed losses. If you turn on different types of uh, different am, uh, discrete values of the capacitor, uh, this, this losses will increase accordingly. Similarly, this uh, MSC, uh, TCR, TSC TCR also the characteristic is similar to MSC TCR, but there would be additional switching losses due to this thyristor uh, operation. So, the losses will be this fixed losses will be similar to this MSCTC here and the characteristics would be little bit of uh, similar to this MSCTC here something like that. And so on. So, this is the uh, these are the uh, characteristics of this losses. Uh, so, uh, these are the uh, you know comparative uh, loss characteristics of different types of this T, uh, SBC and uh, as I discussed although we, we, uh, we uh, consider the whole unit to be lossless, but there would be certain amount of losses due to this practical consideration the capacitor, reactor, filter and uh, the switching losses of these thyristors and the characteristics will be something like this. So, losses we cannot avoid but we can uh, reduce this uh, uh, with the careful design. Okay? And this concludes my discussion of the SVC or static wire compensator as a whole. Uh, from the next lecture, we will try to understand the application of SVC in uh, improving or enhancing various capacities or various uh, uh, dynamical properties of a uh, typical power system. Okay? So, till then, Thank you for your attention for this lecture. So, thank you very much for your attention.